Okay, so we're off to the next spot. Found some uh, merganzas back here. Harlequin ducks. And a male and female buffalo head we were just watching there. So uh, let's see what else is in store for us. This has been such an amazing morning so far. It's only 10 o'clock. We're gonna grab some pastries and continue this unplanned adventure. Locals are super friendly. It seems like everyone's just waving as they're going on their morning jog. I guess this is just a really, really pleasant community. These harriers just zigzagging through all the roads here. I think they're just hunting the fields. I'm still yet to see the uh, short-eared owls, but uh, McCall told me that in the evening, it's a sure bet that I will... That was a harrier. He said in the evening, it's a sure bet to see one. So I'll be definitely coming back here later today. Yeah, there's an eagle tree on the right, yes. Okay. And also there's an eagle for you right up here. Oh yeah, that's the one I saw earlier today. Must be still in the same spot. Yeah. That is beautiful. And there's another yeah. eagle back there flying. Is it the tree with the huge nest back there? That's the eagle tree? Yep, that is what we commonly refer to as the eagle tree. Oh, that is uh, cool. But they're done nesting now. It's all... Uh... Well, um, towards the later part of winter, like probably by Feb, they would mate and then they would lay their eggs. Uh -huh. You know, they uh, eagles lay their eggs pretty early in spring and then by late spring, they would be hatched and be, you know, young ones would be up. Right. That's beautiful. Yeah, I think I saw a kestrel up here in the morning on the uh, wires. Yeah, this is a great spot for that. And I think that was just a merlin. Oh, was that a merlin? That was right on the right of us, I think. Probably. Yeah. It's like these folks are walking with their camera, looking at something. They must have seen something here. <laughs> yeah. Is this the Skagit? Well, it's just... Uh-huh. Oh, uh, yeah, Skagit River kind of passes through here. Oh, okay. Um, this is pretty nuts, though. I've never seen it this frozen, ever. Wow. Uh, this is not the Skagit, though, right? Oh, sorry? This river is not the Skagit River. This is just an estuary or something of it. Yeah, I believe that it's one of the, uh, you know, the tributaries of the river just making its way through. Um, oh, okay. Someone was telling me... Some, uh, it's it, some uh, trumpeter swan right in front of us. Oh, those are trumpeter swans. So many, yeah. And there's a bald eagle on the light post behind us here. There's eagles everywhere. Yeah, another one just flew in. Oh, man. Way ahead of us, another one just flew in and landed on the tree. Oh. Uh, this is... Yeah, this also gives me a lot of uh, appreciation for what we have here, seeing your reaction. Right? Because when I see the bald eagles fly and <laughs> land, I'm like, yeah, bald eagle just flew and sat on the tree. Great. Right? You're cool, saying... let's move on. <laughs> You're saying it so casually, like, yeah, there's another one just flew right there. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, this tree has got a few. Wow. Yeah, you say it casually, like it's just another, like, house finch or something. Yep. <laughs> so this is the town of Edison. Okay. It's a historic town. It's been around for a long time. Oh, I drove through here and I thought I was lost earlier in the morning. Yeah, I believe it was established in the 18th century, this place. Wow. We can park somewhere here. Okay. And then we can go hunting for some goodies. <laughs> the favorite part of the morning. I saw the bakery right. there. 
All right, time for some uh, pastries and some coffee. This is the city of Edison. Mm -hmm. And this is the bakery. Oh, you ring the bell for service. Let's see. <laughs> If you don't mind, I would love to buy you a pastry. Oh, please. I would By love to. <laughs> Feel free to. I would not say no. <laughs> morning. Good morning, how, how you doing? doing? Good. 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 A little chilly, but good. Yeah. yeah. Not too okay, bad. It's supposed to get better today by tonight, I guess. Really? Yeah, I think it's going to get a little bit better. Tomorrow's going to be a little bit warmer. Okay. I think it's supposed to be like raining. Wow, it's insane to see all the fields just frozen. I've never oh, seen it like that here. Yeah, yeah, all the like puddles and slew back there. It's like a glacier. I don't know oh my god, seen it. it's frozen up. Wow. Yeah. That's not common, I'm guessing. Uh, no. <laughs> Rarely, right? Yeah, not too. We definitely had a very cold, cold little snap here. So. Wow. Yeah. Where are you guys from? I am from LA. Oh, yeah? Yeah, okay. so this is getting a little too far beyond my cold <laughs> oh, yeah. threshold. <laughs> I'm from Orange County, so oh, I'm nice. like, uh, still oh. trying to get used so to this. So when did you move out here? Last year. Oh, wow. So you yeah. really knew that, huh? Yeah. Wow. Well, you, you've learned most of the ropes, though. Of living here? Yeah. Yeah. It's... I mean, this cold is not normal. You don't get it this cold all. I'm from Kirkland. Okay. I'm like about an hour away. Yeah. This cold. This is like uh, crazy cold. I was worried. We went to Seattle the other day. I was worried there was going to be like black ice or On something. On the road. Right? Just because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so moist. Yeah. yeah. That was my main fear too, driving yeah. up here. Yeah, especially we got a dusting uh, in Seattle. Mm -hmm. um, and then if it, thankfully it didn't warm up after that. Because if it mm -hmm. did warm up, then it would melt. Then at night it'll freeze. Right. Uh, then we get the, the ice problem. Ice. But yeah. thankfully that didn't happen. Alright, so I will go for the potato leek day, which potato is day. insanely good. We'll do two of those. Do you guys have coffees and stuff? We have an 8 ounce drip coffee, pretty basic. Oh, okay. Uh, but if you're looking for something, I, I will skip the coffee. Uh, mm -hmm. There's like Tweets Cafe, I think they open at 11, and then there's like a, a little coffee stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna actually hit that one. Okay. Well, I'll do yeah. just the. We, we just offer the most basic, just like. <laughs> you guys <laughs> make the world's best pastries and delicious. And he's not I'm the first I'm telling you, uh, the first time I tried it, which is what, maybe a couple of years ago, I was like, God, this is the gold standard for me now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, even like just a croissant. Even like, just a croissant, you know is by correct. The croissant, they're like, oh, they know what they're doing. Right. Yeah, yeah. The, the flakiness, the crunch, the, <laughs> the, the way each layer just breaks down in your mouth. Oh, so good. So good. I'm glad you love it. It's the food network here. <laughs> so just the two potatoes? Yeah, cake? just the two for now. Alright. But. Uh, Someone else told me like if you're in the area, make sure you come to this place. So. Yeah. And so he's not the only one. Yeah. We actually okay. just met like a, an hour. Yeah, we ago became or friends an hour ago. <laughs> what? Yeah, we just met. And how did you meet? Um, we uh, both from different parts of the world just came to the same spot to photograph owls. Oh, Somehow, okay. yeah, we just okay. met shooting owls. So. Do yeah. you see any snowy owls? No, no. snowies don't usually show up here. We've heard that there but was there's one or two. Put the baguette in your car. Oh, okay. And then maybe we can just take a walk back and enjoy these walking by the sloop. Oh, okay. So we got a, a free baguette with the, for a newfound friend. They gave us a free baguette. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty awesome. Unbeatable. Right? Unbeatable. Washington <laughs> State special. That is a Washington State special. You wouldn't find that nowhere in LA. <laughs> Be like, get out of here. You're not stressed. Right. <laughs> Today I was going crazy because everything was new, but typically sometimes I'll just walk around and not even take one shot. Yeah. yeah and yeah. just walk around and enjoy the scenery, you know? Yeah, that's me too. Yeah. So this and is... when you dedicate time just for it. Mm -hmm. Just 
zone in, right? Yeah. So this is where we were, the bread farm. Frozen? Man. Nice. Like Never a seen. slew. My whole life. Oh, it's thought of. Now I just decide that I wrote it. This is cool. Oh, it's moving now a little bit. Yeah. Oh, those are the trumpeter swans in the field there? Yep. Or there's a snow geese? No, swan. Oh, cool. That's gonna drive, but it actually does. Mm -hmm. Now I know what I'm getting tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> My agenda is already set. If I were to visit Kenya though, mm -hmm. what's a good time, season? Mm, probably around the summertime. July, August. When is the migration? I think it's around August. The will of these migration. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know. What a great thing to watch and teach your breakfast. Right. Look at that. Does it gets crazy hot. Not. You know what's funny is like the summers here were hotter. Yeah, it stays hotter like on average throughout the year, but there's nothing crazier than a summer here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nothing crazier than a local summer. What about winter? Like right now, actually, it's kind of raining a lot. Mm -hmm. It's like one of those El Nino years. I guess mm -hmm. that's why it's the same here as well. Mm -hmm. It's raining a lot. A lot, a lot. The capital is Nairobi. Nairobi city, right? Nairobi city. Oh, right. Oh, wow. but, uh, I also know it's one of the places where a lot of wildlife and people live in harmony. Mm -hmm. uh, the city folk can see hardcore animals right lions, next to yeah, lions, yeah. rhinos, mm -hmm. right by the city, right? right? Yeah, like the when we went, my wife had never been there, so we went to the Nairobi National Park. So you can see skyscrapers right there. In the park, and you see like a rhino right here, right behind you. You can see the city hmm. 10 15 minutes away. So Paychecks <laughs> matter in this country, <laughs> yeah. I mean, For paycheck and the benefits, <laughs> I mean, yeah. he here's the thing the passion part and all that is nice, right? But if you don't pay your bills, passion yeah. won't pay your bills, you know? yeah. That's true. <laughs> and um, one thing I've learned is, yeah, cutting it as an artist is the longer path yeah and but you don't get into art if with the intention to make a lot of money right if that's why you're getting into it there's so many other things you can do exactly you can become a real estate agent you can become a doctor you yeah. can become a gangster i don't yeah. know you can become a crypto expert right you can do so many things if you want a quick shot but yeah you know i've, I've been happy though that's so cool. i ended up i always believe that what you give comes back to you yeah so if Another bald eagle right there. I know, you say it so casually. Yeah, there's another eagle. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's an eagle. I'm watching it. The only time I've seen an eagle is like, we only have, I think, one nesting pair in like the mountains in LA. Bald eagle? Yeah, bald, one. One nesting pair. But you have to live, it's like uh, maybe an hour drive from LA. You have to go up in the mountains. Right. And it's like one pair and 
everyone in LA comes there this time of the year when they're right. nesting and it's like 50 cars parked along oh, the Oh no of the kidding, road. to see that one For nest. one nest, yeah. So did you just see them flying around here like nothing? Yeah. Well this is nothing compared to what you would see if the season was peaking when you had booked the uh -huh. tour. Yeah. It's 200 eagles there. Wow. 200 to 300 eagles there. Uh, I was there late December mm -hmm. and I got some nice footage. Mm -hmm. It was great. It was beautiful that day. Coffee and pretzel stand. Okay. So if you are down for it, we can drive through. Yeah. We can get each of us can get our coffees. Let's do that. Thank you for the, the dinner. No, thank you. Appreciate it. I appreciate you. It's been an amazing morning. The honey bucket. <laughs> Full of rich honey. Yep. <laughs> All right. Had a pastry, so we're gonna hit the Fur Island Wildlife Preserve, I believe, after some coffee and keep going with the day. I'm so glad we met. It's been a pleasant surprise. We won't visit Fur Island because there's a slight change of plans but it will be awesome. See you next time, bye. Thank you.